Hi everyone, this is John, and in this video I'm going to be talking about a stopwatch application using the M430G2553 microcontroller and a basic 16 character by 2 line LCD. For anybody who likes the numbers, it's a HD44780 clone that you could find on the internet. So let's get started. Flip the power switch. You can see in this application I have hundredths of a second, seconds, and minutes. Uh, for stopwatch, I didn't choose to do hours because I figured, well, if you're going to do hours, might as well just use um, a regular clock. Don't really have the need for hours and hundredths of a second precision. Um, so I just went up to minutes and I have these two push buttons for control. Let's see what they do. This one is the start and stop push button. Start to see the hundredths of a second just flying back, going to the seconds. Not yet a minute. And then I also have the reset push button. You can also start the stopwatch and then reset on the fly. And I got the idea for this project from the book Programmable Microcontrollers with Applications using the MSP430 Launchpad by Mr. Unsalan Gurhan. This is the third application I've taken from the book. And the first two applications went fairly well. But this third application, uh, not so much. Uh, the hardware, the schematics, and everything seems solid. But when I got to the code part, it was the code was extremely difficult to understand, convoluted. And when I ran it, it flat out just didn't work. And since I didn't know what it was supposed to uh, look like, how to interface with the LCD, how it was supposed to interface, I couldn't really debug it. So I did a lot of research. I downloaded the data sheet for uh, the uh, an LCD. I went on a whole bunch of blogs and online to look for code and then cobbled together my own thing with the data sheet and I got it working and I have a pretty good understanding but it was just a long difficult process um, which I was hoping to avoid and that's why I bought the book but long story short I did not like the code from that book. I wrote my own code so this this code the code on the chip and the wiring is of my own uh, design. did not get it from the book. So let's go ahead and talk about that code and that design. As you saw, I flipped the switch from the beginning and nine volts from the battery is going from this rail to the LCD. The LCD is rated from five to 11, I think, volts. And so nine volts is good. It drains the battery like a mug, but you know, such is life. The voltage also goes to this LM317 voltage regulator through these capacitors, resistors, and potentiometer. And it uh, gets regulated down to 3.17 volts. Three point, I'm sorry, uh, three point, I think it's, what is it? 3.47 volts, 3.37 volts. Have it feeding uh, the microcontroller, this potentiometer. As I adjust it, I can uh, adjust the voltage up or down. It isn't a set voltage regulator uh, because of that potentiometer. So right now I have it set to 3.37 volts. And in this microcontroller, it has uh, the data lines, the four bit uh, data lines, and then some command lines. And any of you keeping count, this stopwatch isn't exactly accurate. Um, it is run from the VLO inside the microcontroller, the, ver the very low power, uh, low frequency oscillator. And the oscillator is spec for a range because it is not a precise, it is not an accurate oscillator. And so the code is solid, but there is some slight variation in the oscillator, so it isn't a very precise. I should get a, a quartz, an external crystal, which I'm probably looking to get pretty soon. So I can be more precise in some of my timing applications. And then a big necessity is this 47 kilo ohm resistor. If you want to put the microcontroller from the MSP430 onto a breadboard, you need this 47 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, the resistor needs to go from the positive voltage source to the reset pin of the microcontroller. You just need that to work. It's, it's, it's the wake up call for the microcontroller. If it ain't there, you know, it's a little diva. If it doesn't have the 5,000 jelly, black jelly beans in the jar, it's not going to go on to perform. And so you just need that. I have have it set up with the push button so that whenever I push the button, it goes ahead and resets. And so that's how I use that function. And then finally, we have 
this potentiometer right here, which is the trim pod for the LCD. You can see it fluctuating back and forth. Get it good again. And so that, everybody, is the stopwatch application. I'm John. That's the video. I hope you liked it. If you have any comments or questions, go and leave them in the comments. And I'll get back to them. I'll try to answer them if I can. Have a good one.